Again, it's about me, selfishly. But I was crossing the road to go to the theatre between a matinee and an evening performance of a, a show, and it was the only time I got to hang out with my eldest son at that point. And I was crossing the road, and this dude, dressed like a fat Lance Armstrong, <laughs> comes caning across the road and nearly took his head off, really. I mean, you know, I hate them all. Mm. The ones that dress like they're in the Tour de France. And mm. I call them two-wheeled road fascists. <laughs> and, and, I, and I hate them from the bottom of my heart. I'd like to add a caveat. OK. Could, could you possibly say um, two-wheeled fascists in cities? No, because when I lived in the countryside, on a Saturday morning, I know this is going to sound even more posh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I had a horse, right? I had a horse. <laughs> I don't mind admitting it, I had a horse. And um, I would take my horse, he was a bit nuts, to be fair, he had issues, and I would take my horse up the, up the road and these fascists would come in their droves, in like three abreast, racing each other in some imaginary race that they'd invented that morning. I love people who, who take pride and love in their bikes and they sedately and serenely go about. And if, if I had my say, London would be closed to... to cars for the, you know, for a good mile and a half from the centre. But not these dudes. Seriously. You know, have sex. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to cycle. It's fine. <laughs>